Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel NASAC. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to integrate the Cloudflare, GoDaddy, and the Doha Mail together. I already registered one domain through GoDaddy, ccuugroup.com, just a couple of days ago. And in today, I'm going to connect it with Cloudflare and integrate with Zoho Mail solution. So Zoho providing forever free plan, which gave five users, five gigabytes user per user, 25 megabyte attachment limit. It's forever free plan, but it's only providing web access to your email. Should be enough for most user case, and it's free. And Cloudflare, they also provide in a free plan. GoDaddy, for your domain, of course, you have to pay for that, um, usually a couple of dollars. So we got this domain just a couple of days ago. So now I'm going to connect all those three together. Let's start with First thing, we need to go to Cloudflare. We need to add a new site. So you need to enter this domain, ccuugroup.com. And then we put the ad side. Yeah, for me, free plan is more than enough. I will choose free plan now. Confirm this plan. Then Cloudflare is going to scan in your DNS record you already have at your GoDaddy. When you registered, they already generated those uh, records in your DNS zone, like a record, C name. So all they all have all those things. They also have those name servers, which we're going to change it in the next few minutes. Cloudflare already finished the scanning, so they found one A record, two C name record. As you can see, we have one A record and two C name record here. That's right. So we do continue. So now there's one thing you have to do is change your name servers at GoDaddy. So we need to remove those two name servers and add a new one. So we're going to do that. We're going to add this one, change it. So there's two name servers. The second name server. Those are Cloudflare name servers. Save. Okay, so the name server has been changed. As you can see here, the name changes has been completed. Let's go back to Cloudflare. We're going to do double check, quick starting guide, configure domain setting, get started. Cache mode is full mode. Using self-signed certificate. We're going to do flexible for now. Save. We're going to always use HTTPS. We're going to keep no changes on that. Auto minify. Don't change it later. We could do it later on. We're going to apply broadly compression. Finish. Recheck it. Please check back in a few hours. You will also be noted by email once the site became active. So we are pending. This change has to be done. So even it has been changed in GoDaddy, but it's going to pending Cloudflare to recheck it again. While we are waiting, Cloudflare checking the name server changes on GoDaddy. So we're going to integrate the Zoho Mail solution with our domain. Um, we're going to use in, um, Cloudflare do um, page changes, page rule changes. So we, we're going to go through that. We need to integrate Zoho with our domain. So if you go to the pricing, so Zoho website or product and the mayor, and then go down, you should see forever free plan. Try now. So then they're going to ask you the domain. 
So we're going to sign up with the domain I already own. So that's the important thing. If you don't have a domain, then you probably need to buy a new domain, but we already have a domain. So let's do that. Add it. So it's a welcome to the whole workplace page. So we are gonna set up a business email for our domain. So we're gonna follow instruction here to complete the setup for email. You need to start by verify your domain. So we need to have our domain record. So we are using we were using GoDaddy, but right now we are changing it to Cloudflare. Let's do others. Basically, we need to use in C name method. We need to create this C name in our Cloudflare. So let's take a look if Cloudflare finished the checkup. It's active. So that means it's a it's, it's so everything is done. So it's changed it. It's verified. And now we need, based on the Zoho settings, we need to create in the same name record with this value. So it's simple, go into DNS tab and add a record. So it's the same name record. And the name will be, and the target will be our jmverifiedzoho.com. Save. Great. So we're gonna do verify by same name. It's gonna take a couple of minutes to get your DNS record into effect. So we have our same name, name content. Okay. I think we did right. Verify. Um, we may can try txt. So blank value. We can add another one. Txt record. Content. Save. Well, perfect. So we use the two method, but txt method works better than scene in record. Anyway, so it's working. So what were you gonna do with first? We're gonna create an admin account. So we find our domain. We can add users. So let me process, proceed to add users. We're going to do admin, email address, admin, password. OK. Back to setup. My account. So it's admin. We already created that. Let's go to Mail.
So we log in the mail and then we can go to the control panel here to add more users. So we verify domain, we add a user, we can create group, we can configure email delivery, and we can skip that. Start receiving email, of course. Next, SPF. Okay, we're gonna use in creating another txt record to spf at dkim let's go to dns add another txt record do that and save perfect and domain setup and skip Email migration, we can skip mobile access, we can skip. So we can go to the control panel again. Not point to the mail, view instruction. So we need to configure MX record. Okay, we need to create the MX. We already create the um, SPF record. We can create X. Okay, MX record. Okay, add one. Max. Blank. Priority will be 10. So we can add mail server. Priority will be 10. Save. And another record. Two maybe twenty the third rec MX record mail server three MX three and priority will be thirty. Now it is done. Okay, um we have this already. Domain and not delivered. So the setting has been completed. So now we can try to send the email. We can use in my 51sec.org mail to try to send the email. Let's do new mail. And then I'm gonna log out. Trying to log in again. This time we're gonna use admin at CCUU group. Let's do continue. Let's continue. receive the email so last thing we need to do is need to create a page rule so let's let's do list star dot ccuu group dot com mail star then we need to Forwarding URL, permanently select. We're going to let it go to the account.com sign in page. So save and deploy. So basically, this page is going to tell in any users if they want to type slash mail after domain, then it will go to the Zoho page to sign in. So let's look at how it working. So we can sign out from here. 
Then we can do www.ccuugroup.com mail. Bam, it's coming. Then we can log in, log in, we are in. In this way, you have easy domain to remember, just slash mail, and then you can get to your login email login page. If you like my video, please subscribe it and give me a thumb up. If you have any questions, please comment in my video.